Christmas, everyone! And the moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. We are celebrating my 12k um, threshold on my road to getting to 15k. Now, it's kind of ironic as I'm recording this video, I'm already halfway, well, more than halfway close to 13k, so... Sorry it took a minute, but I wanted to make sure you got your questions in. So, first of all, I want to express uh, my gratitude for all you lovely peeps who have took the time out of your day to watch my videos, hit that like button, share it. I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you, and I hope your day goes well, I hope your holidays goes well, and all your dreams come true. Um, but for now, let's do this. Let's look into some of these questions, shall we? Uh, the first question is from Star Nova, 412. Uh, he's a, I believe he is one of my mods, so you know, really cool. Let's see, I'm going to give him a like. Let's see, um, if you live in My Hero Academia universe, what would your quirk be, and what would your hero name be? Well, hmm, that's a good question actually. I believe my quirk would probably be super strength because I really like to punch stuff so super strength would be really cool. Maybe a little bit of flying ability, you know? But if I just had one, definitely would be like all for one. Basically, I, I would basically be like all for one. I, I like to culminate the power, but if I had to choose... No, 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 scratch that. I would pick absorption ability, the ability to absorb everyone's powers. Not just, you know, happen for five minutes, but actually absorb them and add them to my collection. So, similar to all for one, actually. To, um, but without actually killing the person. I actually just would take their abilities without really killing them, so. And my superhero name would be... Um, I'm not, nothing too original? Maybe... I can't really think of one on the spot, but maybe... Um... I, I, I don't know. I, I can only come up with evil names, not really so much good hero names. I'll just call myself Goku. I'll just call myself Goku. Um... Stop Motion asks... Do you prefer muffins or cupcakes? I love muffins! Come on! The cupcake. I used to like cupcakes until I watched Cupcake HD. Then it just kind of killed it for me, so, you know. Uh, Chloe Coates said, would you rather own a better fish or a fancy goldfish? Probably a fancy goldfish. I like goldfish. They're, they're really nice. Um, who, okay, let's see, Thunder God 123 two, says, who would you rather smash? At Majin Andrew 21 or an Otaku? Pick your waifu. Uh, <laughs> um, it's funny because Otaku just, just literally <laughs> is the next question, but, um, um, I would pick Majin Android 21 because I know it'd be a one-time thing. Yeah, uh, a one-time thing, so, you know. And Otaku asks, Will you be my husbando forever? All jokes aside, here's my question. If you were to live in one anime world, which would it be and why? Also, Merry Christmas Eve. Oh, thank you. You get a heart. Um, let's see. Uh, if I had to pick an anime I would live in, um, I, I would really would like to live in the, um, no, I was gonna say Naruto, you know, actually I wanna live in, I wanna live in that time I, re I got reincarnated as a slime. That world seems awesome. <laughs> or maybe, over I, 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 I would pick Overlord if I was part of Iron Zone Gold Entourage, but, uh, but honestly, if I had to pick the world, I, the world I wanna live in the most is the Kingdom Hearts realm. Um, oh, man. Uh, that just sounds like I'd have a great time in the Kingdom Hearts universe. Uh, the Star Wars universe as well, but Star Wars is an anime. Kingdom Hearts technically is an anime, but it's, but it's sort of... It's like it's like a weird half and half, since it was made by Disney and uh, Square Enix. You know, that weird love-child relationship they're going. Uh, I don't know if that really counts, but that's what I'm going with. So, uh... Yeah, I hope, I hope that answers your question. Otherwise, I, that time I got reincarnated as a slime would be my the world I go with. So, uh, um, Logan asks, which do you like more, muffin flavor pizza or pizza flavor muffins? What the heck kind of a question is that? <laughs> uh, neither? Not really? Neither? Um, I guess muffin flavor pizza? I guess? Um, what kind of music do you, you like the most? Who's your favorite artist? My favorite artist is Michael Jackson. Uh, the music I listen to the most. I listen to all sorts of music, like Disney, R&B, pop, a little bit of rap here and there. Country. Can you believe it? I like country. 
But yeah, I, I guess I go with R&B and soul. I really love I really love 80s music and um, mid to late 90s music and a little bit of early 2000s. You know, I like that stuff. It's really good for me. Uh, Christopher asked, um, "Who's your favorite Seven Deadly Sins character?" Be- Bond. Bond is my favorite. Bond is my absolute favorite. Meliodas is my second. Um, but Bond. Come on. I, I think it's every, I think everybody's favorite is Bond. Just like Axel's my favorite in Kingdom Hearts. I love I love the rogue type guys, you know? Like those types of characters are just cool, you know. They're always they're always cool to me. Who is your favorite Naruto character and Dragon Ball Z Abridge character? My favorite Dragon Ball Z Abridge character is either Imperfect Cell or uh, Lord Frieza. Yeah, I think those two really just I don't know why, for some reason, those two just really stood out to me as being awesome. Um, and Perfect Cells, he's up there as well. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, as for Naruto, uh, Itachi is up there. Um, Minato, Naruto, uh, Kakashi, uh, Madara, Uchiha, you know, first form of him. So yeah, those are some of my favorites. Am I ready for Five Nights at Freddy's 2? Blah, 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 man, ho. No, I'm not, Caboose. You don't matter. Um, what does the Goku say? The Goku says, give me a muffin or I'll hakai you. Um, let's see. Thunder Goddess, would you smash Tsunade or Adult Hinata? I would smash them both, but probably Adult Hinata a bit more. John, Johnny Porter says... Um, Beyonce or Nicki Minaj, who would you smash, if you know what I mean? I, I kinda don't care for either, but I guess Beyonce? If I had to go with one, I'd go with Beyonce. Uh, Supreme Fire Scorpion, aka Eliza Johnson, asks, Would you rather have 1 million muffins in one day, or get 300 muffins each day? Um, I feel like the first one is a lot more lucrative, so I guess go with the 1 million? I guess, yeah. Um, the real kid Gohan asks, How did you come to like muffins? And also, do you really hate raising your kids that much? I can't tell in the main art without dying. <laughs> uh, no, I don't hate my kids that much. I love my kids. That's just that's just a crazy meme that's been taken way too far by people. I really love my kids, actually. Uh, it's been, it's been a good deal of time with them whenever I can and when I'm out training and saving the world. I do, I do often spend time with my kids, despite what people say even though they don't know me that well. Um, but also, how did I come to like muffins? Well, it all started on a day, on a hot summer day. I was training, I was really tired, and Chi Chi decided to take me out, you know, for a pastry. Um, I could have had any pastry. There was donuts, I love donuts, there were Cinnabons, you know, but then I just saw this muffin, and it, and it just hit me. I never had a muffin before at that point in time, so when I saw it, I was like, oh, what's this? And Chi Chi said, it's a muffin, so I, you know, I gave it a shot, and... It was like magic, and it's like everything in the world suddenly makes sense, and all of my fears and anger and anxiety just went out the window, and I just knew, I just knew that muffins were the right pastry for me, if you want to call muffins a pastry. Um, but uh, yeah. Cinnabons or bacon, says Shatter Ultra Instinct, you can't play the fifth. And listen to draw an artist, <laughs> draw scary things, and telling stories. It always scares me to listen to the new one called uh, Admission. I'm gonna go with bacon, even though cinnamons are delicious. Uh, Tabitha asks, would you rather have 4 million muffins or 5,000 muffins? Or, well, 4 billion muffins, actually. I'd rather have 4 billion muffins. Bardock, the, the elite fighter, asked, what has been your best part when it comes to making videos? My best part when it comes to making videos, honestly, is just seeing your reactions to it. Um, I'm very self-critical of myself, you know? Uh, whenever I'm, I'm doing editing or making a video, I'm always very, very critical. I think a lot of YouTubers are always self-critical on themselves. Nobody's gonna really judge us more than ourselves. So when it comes, when I'm doing the editing, and, I'm, and I think some parts are, are sketchy here, and there's some background noise here, and I'm always trying to cut it out. I really hate that, but the most satisfying part is seeing your reaction. You know, just the idea of you guys just watching, giving your opinions, you know? Be, some of you guys being critical, some of you guys not being so critical, but always helping me get better and better as we go on this journey of me doing YouTube, and I think that's just great. See you guys really liking my videos, that's that's really, really satisfying. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? I like the third one. My favorite Star Wars movie is uh, Star Wars uh, 5 Empire Strikes Back. My second favorite is um, Revenge of the Sith. 
You know why? Because both because I had both my villains in there. You had Darth Vader uh, versus Luke Skywalker. The, the the famous "I am your father" speech. Um, Han Solo got stuck in a um, <laughs> he got frozen. So it, it was just I just love that movie from top to bottom. That is still my all time favorite Star Wars movie ever. And then my favorite would be Avengers of the Sith. Uh, because it was the uh, fall of Anakin Skywalker and his transition into Darth Vader. Just seeing pre-suit Vader in action, just... And the brotherhood that him and Obi-Wan had, I really... I, it really got to me, you know, really... And it really hit me emotionally, and, you know, seeing his uh, rise and eventually fall, it's what really got me and really just stood out to me as one of the best um, in the Star, that the Star Wars universe had to offer. So yeah, those are my two favorites right there. Um, what is your idea? Your ideal harem says gold, and the king and the harem kings. Uh, tongue twisters. Um, so my my favorite. Let's see, my favorite idea of a harem. I guess um a few ladies from the Dragon Ball universe, you know. But there's so many women. I'll just go. I'll just throw it out here. With, with seven. I'll go with. Uh, go with. Tw uh, 21, Android 21, um, either form, whether it be in a regular form or a Majin form, uh, Tsunade, she's definitely up there, <laughs> Tsunade's definitely up there, um, ideal, Chi Chi, Boma, um, an evil, an evil version of Chi Chi, obviously, um, Aqua from, um, Kingdom Hearts, uh, there's two more I want to add, maybe I'll add, uh, who should I add? Hmm. We'll go with 18, obviously. Yeah, 18. And then I'll throw in... I'll throw in... Albedo from, um, Overlord. She... Oh, she... Albedo and Shaltier. Either Albedo or Shaltier from Overlord. They definitely make some <laughs> ideal harems, you know? So, yeah. What is... Alright, Undead Anime asks, What is your favorite DBZ saga and arc? My favorite saga is the free... Is the Namek Saga slash Frieza Saga. That always just, um... Resonated with me personally. So... Also, the Saiyan arc was really darn good as well. The Android arc was... Might have been the best. You can make an argument for that. But I think for me personally... And what they were trying to establish, and just like, just how, like, what really hit me emotionally, even more so than the Saiyan Saga, and that was a great saga that really shaped Dragon Ball. The Namek Saga and Goku's Fight with Frieza really solidified me as like, this is the greatest show of all time. Like, this is this that moment when Goku went Super Saiyan and was fighting Frieza was what made me say, this is the greatest show I've ever watched in my life. I don't care what anybody says. Like this. Is why, because I was, that was, I, as a child, I just remember getting so emotional and so scarred. I was scarred when Frieza killed Krillin. Like, I was crying, guys. I, I was crying. And uh, when Goku just lost his, you know, he lost his shit and went Super Saiyan, I knew something special was happening, and it was, it was beautiful. Solidified me that Dragon Ball was my all time favorite. So, you know, that's my favorite art right there. Just. Just because I don't think any arc, not even the Cell arc, you know, hit me that hard. And they've had some heavy hitters, trust me. Um, you know, Artist says, why don't you like grape flavor? I actually do like grape, I like grapes, but I don't like grape flavor slot for some reason. I don't like grape flavor, it's like me liking chocolate, but not liking chocolate milk, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, just in liquid form, it just doesn't do anything for me, you know? Yeah, it's just, it's just not me. It's just not me, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, that, well, I guess there are no more questions. I want to thank you all, to everybody who submitted your questions. Um, again, um, this is something I just wanted to do. As I said, as I'm doing this, I'm almost already close to 13k, so when we, so you guys see what I mean? I should call this like a 12.5k special. I'll call it 12.5k special or something. Um, but thank you all who all submitted your questions. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my content. Uh, if you could do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe to support the channel. And uh, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much, guys. Bye!